Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of constructing a Green's function for a constant coefficient differential equation. Let's consider the mass spring problem with no friction. And normalized. I'm just going to normalize it. Okay. In other words, I'm going to assume the mass and the spring constant are both equal to 1 on this problem just for simplicity. Otherwise, you're going to get factors of k over m everywhere, square root of k over m, and just makes things a mess, right? And so here's our mass spring system. It's just y double prime. This is this harmonic oscillator. y double prime plus y is equal to some function f of t, some forcing function. There's my forcing function. That's uh, so that. Okay. I'm going to assume that y of 0 and y prime of 0 are 0 in this problem, and we're going to construct the Green's function. Assume y of 0, the initial displacement, and the initial velocity are equal to 0. And the forcing function is what's going to drive the string into motion. Okay? Good. So how do we construct the Green's function? I'm going to take the Laplace transform and see what the Laplace transform gives us. If I take the Laplace transform, what we get is we get s squared y tilde of s minus s y of 0 minus y prime of 0 plus y tilde of s is equal to the Laplace transform of f. Okay. Now what this tells me, these boundary terms are gone, and so this just tells me that s squared plus 1 y tilde of s is equal to what? Is equal to f tilde of s, and therefore this tells me that y tilde of s is equal to f tilde of s over s squared plus 1. And now I have a product of two functions. So let's recall that if I have um, f tilde of s times g tilde of s, that the inverse Laplace transform of this thing will just be f convolution g, where f convolution g of t for the Laplace transform is the integral from 0 to t of g of s, doesn't really matter what order because it's a, it's a commutative operation, g of s and then f of t minus s ds, and it's commutative, so this is the integral from 0 to t of f, just of f of s, so f of s and then g of t minus s ds. Great. So I'm using the convolution result, and so what we can do now is I can solve this problem. So y of t, the solution of this, y of t, is going to be the integral from 0 to t of my f of s, and then my the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared plus 1 is just sine. So it's going to be a sine of t minus s ds. And so this is the solution. This is exactly the, the structure that the Green's function has, right? So in other words, now I can define the Green's function because recall that the Green's function has to be what? The Green's function has to have the form that if I integrate from 0 to t, g of t tau f of tau, where that's the force, d tau has to be the solution of your second order equation, has to be your solution y of t. So of course, what is this over here? Of course, it has to be 0 when t is less than tau, right? So of course, I just have s's over here. I can easily change these s's to tau. So this is exactly the same thing as the integral from 0 to t of f of tau, and then sine of t minus tau d tau, right? And so now I can define our Green's function for this problem for the harmonic oscillator with no friction. And what will that be? That's just going to be g of t and tau. It's going to be 0 if t is less than tau, less than or equal to tau, and bigger than or equal to 0, of course, right? And then it's going to be the sine. It's going to be the sine of what? It's going to be the sine of t minus tau, t minus tau, for t bigger than tau. Okay? And of course, we can easily check when I plug in... Um, when I plug in t equals tau to this problem, I get 0 over here and 0 over here, so then the Green's function on the diagonal is equal to 0, and then the derivative of the Green's function on the diagonal, the derivative of the sine is going to be cosine, and then the cosine when I plug in this is going to be a 1. So in other words, for this function, it's the case that g of t t, g of t t, or tau tau, doesn't matter, g of t t is equal to 0, and g t of t t is equal to 1, at least from in the domain of attraction, the, the derivative from the right. So these, this does indeed satisfy the relationships that Green's function has to satisfy. Thank you very much.